I think most of you guys understand the seriousness of this, but you know, without a doubt, the events that happened last week, my well-being, my safety is definitely, yeah, it's definitely not good. It's not good. It's not normal for six police officers and a sheriff to come with five government inspectors. Very far from normal. I don't know how they got the search warrant. I don't know why they turned my cameras off. Who knows if they planted something in my building, even if they didn't. How much further of a step would it be to escalate things? Get the same judge to arrest me? Say I had something in my hand and shoot me? My current lawyer isn't doing a great job of protecting me. Yeah, I talked to him on the phone. He doesn't seem to care too much. But I don't think he knows I'm 5% Jewish. So I'm going to send him this video to watch so he knows that. And it's a pretty simple question. Are you Jewish? Yes or no? Percentages don't matter. And the answer to that is yes. This business issue is going to cost me the full net worth of it. Everything I've worked for. And I know my lawyer isn't going to do shit to help me, let alone get me the compensation I deserve. How crazy is it that government officials can come into your business, quarantine your products, and my lawyer is telling me I can get arrested if I touch my own property? For those of you saying to get out of New York, the USDA is a federal agency, and every state has a food inspection department. Moving would not stop the harassment from these people. I think those are just gaslighters and people in the club trying to act like New York is the issue. No, these people are everywhere and they will not stop. They will not stop. Even if I could afford to move, my physical health is not well enough to train a new staff. And, uh, you know, t even if the location's more affordable, I have to find a place for myself to live. It's just, I can't take that on, guys. I can't. They control everything. The media platforms, the supply chain, you name it, the news, whatever it is. You guys left about 50 negative reviews on the Simone Development Company's Google page, which I didn't tell you guys to do. You guys did it on your own. I thought there was no point. This guy has so much money and power. He's probably going to get the reviews taken down, although I did think it was a little funny. But guys, please stop trying to get me shot. What, what's crazy is how quick that happened. Less than one day after you guys put those reviews up, they were wiped clean. This guy was able to get a hold of someone at Google on a Sunday to take those negative reviews. I'm, I'm surprised they didn't take down my YouTube videos as well. They could do whatever they want to me. You know, I would try my best with my business, with my YouTube channel to improve people's health until these ugly cocksuckers put two bullets in my head. But hey, put me out of my fucking misery, please. I'm tired of doing this shit. But I could not deal with the stress and pain it would cause on my mother, on my family, if something like that did happen. You know, I said earlier, they sent a dozen cops to my building last week. You know, how much of a step further is it for them to shoot me or throw me in jail? And... And my parents have been so upset the past few days and with what's happening to me. And although you know, my parents haven't treated me the best and they don't listen to anything I say, uh, they're all I have. And you know, my poor mother has, has gone through so much in her life, I couldn't do that to her. Even if there's no possibility of that happening in my mind and I don't care what they do to me, I, uh, you know... I, I, I'm not willing to take that risk. You know, I don't want to have to give up the business and everything, but, you know, I, I couldn't do that to the only thing I have.